I'm going to make my favorite keto recipe. It's taco soup, and this recipe is adapted from page 64 of the Ultimate Keto Instapot Cookbook. If you're interested, here's the ISBN number. You can note the nutritional specs. Net carbs should be about six per serving. First, I prepared a veggies, one large diced bell pepper, one large diced onion, two large minced cloves, and a diced jalapeno. Get a medium jalapeno and remove the seeds, rinse it off, and then dice it. Next, I prepared the spices, one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of chili powder, and two tablespoons of oregano. I leave out the salt. Next, we have two cups of chicken broth. Carefully check the ingredients to make sure it doesn't have sugar listed. A pound of lean ground beef or ground turkey. I'm going to use ground turkey this time. They both turn out fabulous though. And a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. I'm going to set the Instapot to saute and start. Once it gets into the cooking range, I'm going to add the meat, the onion, and the minced garlic cloves. I'm fully into saute mode now. I've added the meat, chopped onion, and minced garlic. And you just chop it up and stir it with a wooden spoon every few minutes until your meat is no longer pink. I add the onions and the garlic with the meat so it infuses the meat with the flavor and it sort of caramelizes the onions. Just tastes better. So it's nice and cooked up, ready to go. So now we just add everything else. There's my green veggies, the bell pepper, and jalapeno. I'm going to mix it up real good. I want all those spices to seep into the meat as well. Now I'm going to add my diced tomatoes with the green chilies and two cups of chicken broth. Mix it one more time, just for good measure. Now we're going to close up the lid. I've already stopped the saute, so now we're going to do pressure cooker. Leave it on high, and we want 30 minutes. And start. And when it's done, we're just going to quick release it. Our soup is done. I'm going to press cancel, and then I'm going to quick release it. Once the metal pin has dropped down, you can safely open the top. Here's our finished product. This container holds nine cups. It's nine cups up to the flange, so I would say I have about eight cups of soup. And the soup is packed with flavor and nutrition. If it's too much, you can just freeze some for later. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you.